Hello everyone, Geekling here, and um, this is a little bit awkward because this is the first video that I'm trying to do, but um, I've already had to restart because stupid me does something stupid, but um, here we are with Wizard 101. Um, I haven't really seen many people record Wizard 101 for like gaming channels, and this is a game that I played a lot in my childhood. Um, I would sit there with my cousin going back and forth on the computer trying to play this game through. Um, so this should be exciting. I'm sorry that my commentary is going to be really horrible because I'm new to this and I don't know what I'm doing. But hopefully you guys will like it anyway. Um, when I started the channel I was like, what is the nerdiest and like most childish game that I could think of? And bam! This came to mind. Um, so you can see here that I already have a character started, and I have a character right here, um, and I have a character that my friend started, and we were going back and forth between what school was the best, but, um, <clears throat> my bad. Um, but I only did this so that I could get used to everything and whatever. So I'm going to start anew, and through most of the talking, I'm going to be completely silent so that you guys can hear it. I'm not going to hit the voice controls like I hit last time. So, um, let's start. Aha! The spell is working. Look, Gamma. Finally, we have found one. Oh! A young wizard. A student with amazing potential. Enough, perhaps, to save Wizard City. By the way, before I continue with the dialogue here, um, obviously this is one of the, you're the chosen one among millions of other people who have heard the same spiel before, but, you know, whatever. Oh, really? Where? Oh, a very, very distant realm. Oh, my goodness. On a world that does not even believe in magic. I wonder what manner of wizard they might become. I'm not even sure if Perhaps we should consult the Book of Secrets. Headmaster Ambrose turns to regard you intently. Answer these questions to find out what type of wizard you are. Okay, so here's this little quiz. I can skip the test if I don't get what I want, which I might end up doing, but I'm going to do the quiz anyway to show you guys what it looks like. Also, um, I had a point that I was going to say and I completely forgot it, so I'm just going to shut up and do the quiz. Okay, what is more important to you? Show off my skills or be part of the winning team? Um, these are both kind of like, um, okay, I want to show my best, I want to be winning, but, um, i show off my skills. Um, you can notice that this develops as you answer the questions and I think that's pretty cool. Which of these is the most powerful? Earthquake, sandstorm, blizzard, volcano, tornado, who, um, hurricane, or the plague? Um, I think the plague is the most deadly because once you get it, you're like screwed. Um, an earthquake you can build up from, a sandstorm, like all, all of these natural disasters you can build up from. So I think plague. Um, my favorite class in school is reading and writing, health, I like all of my classes, sports, science, and math. This is very obvious that this is meant for like younger kids, definitely not for a 17-year-old starting a YouTube channel, but hey, you know what, whatever. Um, so my favorite is reading and writing, I love writing. Um, <laughs> what is your favorite season? Winter, fall, spring, and summer. Winter and summer are the worst because they're just so extreme. Fall and spring are awesome, but I'm going to go with fall because of pretty neat colors. Oh. The most important thing in a story is all of the characters or the hero or hero line. I probably said that wrong. Um, I'm going to say all of the characters because sometimes background characters are my favorite. Uh, what is your favorite animal? Shark, polar bear, unicorn, serpent, dragon, crab, and bat. Normally the female thing is like, oh, unicorn, but I'm going to go with polar bear. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite gemstone? Paradise. I'm probably saying most of these wrong. Onyx, Sapphire, and Amethyst. I'm gonna go with Amethyst because it used to be an ancient beauty thing. Um, 
You have chosen the School of Storm. This is the first time that I've gotten this. Um, storm wizards are often impulsive, educated, creative, and independent. Fa famous diviners include Benjamin Franklin, Lady Sears, and Galileo. Storm wizards are capable of devastating attacks, but have somewhat weaker defenses. That sucks, because sometimes defense is the main thing that we need. So I am going to go and skip. And uh, the character that I have, the Emily and Lady Wizard, that's what she's called, is a myth character. The one next to him that my friend started was a death character. And I will be honest, I love the myth character. And I'm deciding in, do in between. Da -da 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 -da. I'm sorry about that. I have like a horrible like speech thing. Um, I'm deciding between in my head either myth or life. Um, so let me just read this again. Um, myth wizards are usually visionary, serious, competitive, and knowledgeable. Famous conjurers include Socrates, Baba Yaga, and Houdini. Myth wizards often fight alone, uh, summoning minions to aid them in battle. Um, and then my other choice is life, because you can heal people. Um, life wizards are often social, charming, funny, and spiritual. Famous thurgists include Queen Tiana, I can't say words. Leonardo da Vinci and Thomas Jefferson. Life wizards are great at healing themselves and others. Um, you know, I think I'm gonna go with life. Only because when you're fighting out and about, summoning minions kind of really sucks. Because whenever people join your battle, you have no more space to put them in. So I think I'm going to go with life. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Oh, my vision is failing me. Are you a boy or a girl? I am most definitely a boy. No, I am most definitely a girl. But now that we know what you are, what do you look like? Okay, I love doing the hair thing. It's so pretty. your name? because of my friend. She told me to record. Um, she told me about, she talks about how I'm stuck all the time and like drives me nuts with it. But anyway, all right, so here's my new character and we shall play. Oh, hello. If it isn't our newest student. My name is Merle Ambrose. I am the headmaster of the Ravenwood School of Magical Arts. We're expecting great things from you. But first things first. To move around, use the arrow keys. My owl friend would like to speak with you. Walk up to get. Hello, my name is Gamala Owl, and I am quite pleased to meet you. I'm sorry, I said that. 
Wizards test their <laughs> skills by summoning fantastic creatures and dueling. To become a master wizard, you must learn every spell in your class. Wizards love to duel. The more spells you learn, the better a duelist you'll become. And basically, evil things happen. Oh, odd. Hmm. Come along, young wizard. Let's investigate the matter. Uh, meet you. Best follow the headmaster. You're safe with him. To the tower. To the tower. Oh, Lord. This is going to get fun. Who's there? I'm so excited for this. Malister. Malister. Ambrose. <laughs> I love how the actions are just in italics. You are no longer welcome here. Why have you returned? I'm here to resolve our unfinished business. Is this your latest student? My henchman will see to your little friend. Oh, by the way, I could skip this. There was an option, but I'm just playing it anyway so that you guys get the full story. Hurry along, young wizard. Take this deck of spill cards and deal with those creatures while I tend to malister him. Don't be so sure of yourself, old man. That's Run up so. and confront them. Be brave. I will guide you. Best thing is, though, they don't touch each other. They just stand there and order their henchmen around. You've drawn these spells from your deck. Quickly! You must choose a spell and use it to attack one of Malastare's henchmen by clicking on him. Alright. Like um. So, I hope having my left hand isn't really bad for you guys. Um. I think it's good. It'll put out a little bit of a stack. But this whole entire thing is so cool. I'm pretty sure. I know this is made by King's Isle. Part of it is on my Disney as well, because if you sit, if, if you watch Disney for a oh long my. time, you're hurt. You'll need to pay attention to your current health. This red crystal ball shows your health. If you run out of health in a wizard duel, you'll be defeated. The blue crystal ball shows how much mana you have left. Well, mana is magical energy. If you run out of mana, when you're out of mana, you'll be at the mercy. Why so distracted? We're under attack. Oh my, call me a fool. I had all but forgotten. Yeah, if you watch, um... Where were we then? Oh, right. Attack his henchman again. If you watch Disney for a very long time, you will find several wizards. This whole entire thing is like super super cool because if you watch battles from the sidelines, effects are amazing. There is a Pirates 101, which is. Uh, <laughs> You doddering fool! Your student is no match for my forces! Oh no, you're in trouble. Quickly, use the unicorn spill and cast it on yourself. It will replenish your health. Um... There's a pirate one that's basically... Uh, that's basically like the same thing, except for pirates. I tried it, but I don't really like it, so I'm not gonna play it for this now. But, um, I'm definitely gonna play the heck out of this because it's so cool. Foolish creatures! You've let the young whelp heal! Defeat the whelp or you'll suffer for it! Use your spells to weaken the young wizard's spells! Here, young wizard, take some more pips. They power your spells. The more pips you have, the stronger the spells you can cast. Quickly now, pick another spell and cast it at one of them. Oh my, 
that spell reduced the power of your own spell. At last, you fools are in your keep. Now, finish the child. Um, I see it like next to me, but I think I can. Cast this balance blade spell on yourself. It will increase your next spell's power. This one learns fast, Malistair. Two can play at that game. I've got it. Use this meteor strike spell. It will strike both of the henchmen. Here are the pips to cast it with. With the balance blade spell you've already cast, the meteor strike spell should finish them off. Cast it now. Excellent work, young wizard. Now, let me see to Malister. I'll show him. Threatening a new student before orientation, no less? Another time, old man. I have what I came for. And now I'll take my leave of this wretched place. He's gone, and none too soon. What sinister goal brought him here? Hmm. Oh, my. You look a bit the worse for wear. Hmm. Here, let me restore you to your full health and manner. On the bright side, congratulations. Yes, Defeating yes, Malastare's yes. henchmen has earned you some experience. <laughs> this experience bar will help you track your progress. When the bar fills up, you'll gain a level and be able to learn new spells. Now... Do you have any questions, young wizard? What's that? You don't know how to speak? Oh, my pardon. Well then, let me teach you how to use menu chat, and we'll see what you have to say for yourself. This is the menu chat button. Oh, God, Click on it to say something. See it. Under the, there we go. Ah, you have the way of it. Now you can chat with anyone you meet and make lots of friends here. Yep. You can also hit enter and type your own messages using text chat. But players under 13 will first need their Breaking parents' the permission. Fourth wall. You'll also need a spell book and a wand. There you go. No young wizard should ever be without them. Oh. Sorry about that. I should say, young wizard... But I was quite impressed with your courage. There's little doubt, but that a great destiny awaits you. Who knows? Maybe you'll fill my shoes and become headmaster someday. Yeah, like I said, chosen one mentality. I have no idea what this light is going to do on me. Um... But now, if you'll excuse me, I have a mountain of duties to attend to right now, including readying your enrollment. So, if you don't mind waiting for a moment or two, I'll pop back to my office and straighten up. All right. <clears throat> I'll summon you when things are presentable. Ah, oh, so many books and papers to tidy up. Uh, where did I put those forms? See you soon. Yep. All righty. So, this is pretty cool. 
Um, basically, I'm just gonna run around here, and she's gonna be cute. Wait, and then we come back here, and now we get basically to the main game. Um, I'm so welcome excited. to Wizard City, young wizard. Things here are not normally this hectic. There's a problem on Unicorn Way that absolutely must be dealt with before we can get you enrolled. The reason why I left like that was because I was so confused whenever I saw like, Welcome to Wizard City, Devon. Because I'm so used to, um, Emmeline. <laughs> I've an idea. Perhaps, uh, if it wouldn't be too much trouble, you might take a look. You may be able to help. It will also let you see more of Wizard City. The headmaster hands you a letter with an ornate wax seal. Please deliver this letter to Private Stilson at the Unicorn Way Gate. He will let you through. You can use the yellow quest helper arrow at the bottom of your screen to guide you there. Okay, and so now we get the main game started. Um, I have no idea how long I've been... Recording. You have just been given a tutorial tip. These will occasionally appear on the right-hand side of your screen. These are portraits that give you timely information when you click on them. Okay, so I'm not really going to do much of this. I'm not going to craft, I'm not going to get a pet, and I'm not going to fish, and I'm not going to garden. I might purchase a castle if I get to that point, and I might do player versus player tournaments. Um, Hello, just... young wizard. I am Mr. Lincoln, the registrar of Wizard City. <laughs> I will provide you with useful information to help you in your studies. I apologize for the interruption, but I wanted to bring something important to your attention. Why did the, like, frame rate go out crap? If you ever have any questions about magic or the world around you, I've included some reference material in your spellbook. Simply open your spellbook and read over the help pages. They contain loads of valuable information. Yeah, it was going like 60 and all of a sudden it was going like Say, 40. you have permission to use tech. The mess if your words just, that are I'm valid will show up white. Words that are not allowed by the filter will show up red. For more details, go to the Wizard 101 website. I'm not sure if you guys can see it. Why is everything Christmas? Why in the world is everything Christmas? Anyway. Um, I'm not sure if you guys can see the frame rate going down. I really hope not. Okay, and now it's back up to 60. I think it was just loading a whole bunch of crap. So just... None shall pass. Unicorn Way is off limits. There are ghosts everywhere. You show Private Stilson a letter with Headmaster Ambrose's wax seal. Looks legit. I'll let you pass. Show this to Private Conley in Unicorn Way. So, as I was saying, I'm not sure- oh my god, whale. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure how long I'm going to be recording. I'm not sure how long I've been recording already. Um, but I'm going to do most of this. Um, whoa. The frame went, went to like eight all of a sudden. Oh god, here we go. I am the Duel Master. If you would like to learn about player versus player wizard duels, find me outside the arena on Unicorn Way. Oh my, you have entered an area with monsters in it. If you want to safely traverse this dangerous area, stick to the sidewalks, dear. They are safe. Remember, characters with a yellow exclamation point over their heads will have a quest for you. You should get them all while you can. All right, anyway, so um, I might skip a few of those because if... I already know them, and it's just common sense. I skipped that one because it's just talking about text chat. I'm really not going to be talking. Um, anyway. Ha! A letter from the headmaster. You're very brave to bring this to me. Be careful going farther down Unicorn Way. The street is dangerous. I've seen wizards like you go down that way and never come back. Beware. 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 Your arrival is a blessing. We need help fending off the ghosts in Unicorn Way. Some dark forces have risen, and we don't have enough guards to stop them. We would be honored if you would use your powers and chase lost souls away for us. Alrighty, okay, and now I have a thing Remember that you can bring up your map by pressing the M key or clicking on the map icon within your spellbook. Okay, um... 
So basically, all I have to do is defeat some lost souls. And there's a whole bunch of random stuff going back and forth, back and forth between you. Um, it's it's an MMORPG. I think I got all the letters. Um, it's basically doing a whole bunch of fighting. Emmeline! Ha ha! Hi! Someone just got a chest. Hello. Um, so, you, as you start off, you don't have that many spells. Um, you have to get a lot of get out of one, so you got to get out of one. Alright, well, this guy. Undead Stalker. I have no idea what that is. Anyway, um, so basically that's just what this is. Um, you guys might find it boring, um, through most of it. Through most of this part, the whole entire thing through Unicorn Way is boring. I will say that right now. Um, whenever you get on to, like, Trenton Avenue and the Haunted Cave, and getting characters that are more interesting, and seeing spells that are more interesting, it it'll get better. Um, that's why I'm just gonna try and knock out most of this in one episode. I might skip some battles. Um, it just depends on what I'm doing. Um, it just depends on what I've got going on. If something interesting happens, I'll definitely make sure I show it. Why are there four people going against one lost soul that only has 55 health? It makes me so all mad whenever like a whole bunch of people join for no reason. And it also makes me very mad whenever someone joins and doesn't do anything. I'm just waiting for a whole bunch of lost souls to kill. Oh, of course. You fizzle. I'm only doing those because they don't take any mana. Oh, now everyone does. I will often make fun of the noises. Oh, crap. Fairy Queen. I love battling these things. They are just very, very tough. Um, especially when you... Oh, okay. Especially when you fizzle. Or, uh, Oh my god! Twice in a row, man! Woo! Um, and here comes my muscle. Here we go! She's gonna attack me even though I fizzled! No! Don't attack me! Don't do anything! Ugh, Lord. I, am, I apologize fullheartedly for the fact that my commentary probably is. And I realize it is. Um. <laughs> um I can't even see how much health she has left. Because I have my webcam. Information there. Um. I might move to the other side of the screen. If that happens, it happens. Um, <clears throat> comes, and I can't wear that because it's only for the school of ice. Um, I hate that they let you get That's really weird. Um, I hate that they let you get, um, objects that aren't for your school. You can sell them for money, but it, it just, it's, it's pointless. Um, that's like one of my only, like, bigger pet peeves is that you can get items that aren't for your school and it, it lessens the amount that you can get. That's turn the tide for us. We'll follow your lead and get back to work. If only we knew what's causing this spread of the undead. That right. You should talk to Saren Nightchat and see if he can use any help. For some reason I just got like real cold. That's why I had to like turn off my fan. 
Holy crap. Um, hopefully my setup can get more professional, by the way, because I'm sitting in this gaming chair and um, in my bedroom. And there is something behind me with this window. I couldn't think of that word. Window. <clears throat> so, I have a very unprofessional setup right now, and I know my webcam sucks. I will work on getting a better camera. I'm just holding back on buying more expensive equipment until I know that I get people watching. Greetings! <laughs> Professor Mulinda Wu sent me here to see if the rumors about the fairies are true. The guards won't allow me to go out any further, but they haven't stopped you yet. Would you check for me? Just walk down Unicorn Way and see if you can find any fairies. If they attack, you'd best know how to defend yourself. Okay, now I can talk to her and get it. Oh, good gracious. Do you think you could help me, young wizard? Skeletal pirates are looting all the houses on Unicorn Way. They're not so dangerous individually, but in numbers, they can't be stopped. Please drive them out. Okay, so I will fight one of these things, and then I'm probably going to cut it out. Um, just so you guys can see some of the battles, but not be overrun by them. Because it is a little bit boring for myself. I, I'm just going to keep talking about how sometimes it's boring. Because it's, um... I've played this before, like I've stated, and so it's a little bit awkward to be going through this, like... Everyone has horrible health. Blah, 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 blah. So. I think these guys only have, like, 180. very well because I have to speak very very loudly to get over the over the battle sounds and I might just turn down my audio but I want to make sure you guys can hear it correctly but um, otherwise I'm going to skip here and I'm gonna fight two more skeletal pirates so I will be right back and I'm gonna go silent right now okay so coming back now um, I defeated all of the skeletal pirates, and so now I'm going to go after a dark fairy and then skip again. Or I might just come back to, I don't know. <laughs> I'm like so new to this right now, and I'm, um, so I'm really sorry that my setup's weird, that my commentary's weird. Um, everything is just very, very weird. But I'm now going to defeat a dark fairy if I can. Oh, don't go into the bat battle. Don't go into the bat battle. Uh, they just disappear while you're trying to catch them. Just, ugh. Um, these don't take very much. I can't remember how much health they have. My webcam's in the way. I think I'm going to change it. I don't know why. The, um, the frame rate's going down again. <laughs> Watching it, it's like I I can't tell the difference, but for some reason, there's a difference. <laughs> that made no sense, and I realized that. Now. Um, basically, what I'm trying to say is I can't notice it on the screen, but there's a number in the corner of my screen. See, there's a big difference in screen rate. Um, I think I just said that wrong. Um, anyway, so I might just defeat another one in this video. Okay, I just got sucked across the world. <laughs> so, I'm just gonna play this out now while I'm talking to you guys. Um, but I'm very excited to 
start this because I want to do this for the longest time. And, um, Markiplier and Jacksepticeye are big, um, big inspirations of mine. And I remember just Mark continuously saying over and over and over again, like, you need to get your like, gear on, like, these live streams and just videos. Not directly to me, I took it personally. Like, you need to get started now. If you don't, I am. I'm working on it. Um, I know it's going to take a very long time before. See, there's another. Just. Ugh. I know that it's going to take a very long time before people start watching these videos. I know I'm going to have like two or three people watching it because of friends that I have on Facebook that are like, "What are you going to put a video on? What are you going to put a video on?" So. Um. Thank you, and shout out to those guys. Um, I would fight that fairy queen if I had more spells. Anyway, um, shout out to, I know, Kelsey, Jonathan, and Joel, I think his name is. I feel horrible because I'm just, I'm trying to go off my memory by this person. And um, these are all people that I know that are going to watch these videos because um, they're my close friends and they're amazing. Um... I'm trying to find friends that are going to play with me, so I'm going to do some other collab games, so that'll be fun. Oh, bless you, child. We owe you a debt of gratitude. Okay, and then talk to Saren. He's going to be... He's going to tell me to go talk to someone. Unicorn Way is swarming with evil fairies? They have been corrupted, just as I feared. You couldn't even change them back by defeating them? Oh, that's really bad. Apparently, evil forces at work here in Wizard City. Some dark element has emerged, despite Ambrose's attempts to keep us safe. Thank you for letting me know. I must alert the others. Yes. My friends always tell me I never leave well enough alone. But this time, something foul is afoot. I'm sure of it. You can help me get to the bottom of this curse upon Wizard City. Do you know Lady Oriel, the Seraph? She might understand what happened to the fairies. Speak with her in the hedge maze at the end of Unicorn Way. Okay. Um, I'm going to equip that. Oh, I have a cute hood, and it's in a red and green. It's basically like the same colors that I had for my hat before, except just a little bit lighter. That's cool. Um, <clears throat> it's like guy running on wind. Um, so, walking around really kind of sucks, because like most RPG games, it's just, go over there, talk to someone over there, come back over here and talk to me again, but go back over there to defeat someone else. You couldn't have done that on the way. It's just a whole bunch of back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. But I am a member, um, now, so I can... I'm able to complete all of the quests, and I'm hoping to be able to complete them all. Um, I don't know how long this series is going to go on. If I try and complete all of the quests and get myself a high level, um, but I'm going to try and put out as much content with this as I can. This is an amazing game. I love this game, and I haven't been able to see much content other than the normal. You don't have to be a member things. Um, and so I'm just I'm really excited to see this and I really hope you guys are excited to see this as well. So here we go. Oh praise the light. Someone has come at last. Something has been corrupting my fairies. Since you have come in my hour of need, use this in future battles. Thank you for coming at this dark time. If you are as brave as you look, I know you will help save my fairies. Please go out to Unicorn Way and defeat some of these evil fairies. Collect the dust that they drop. With that, I will be able to tell you more about their corruption. I know it is a dark task, but it must be done. Take care, wizard. Okay. Um... So I got a treasure card. Treasure cards you can only use once. 
and then they go right back in, and then they just disappear. So, they're kind of cool, but they kind of suck at the same time. So, anyway, if I did skip, here we are going back. Here, if I didn't, yo, that went to 30 frame. Great. Um, I just swallowed and made myself sound stupid. You have returned with the fairy dust. Please give it to me so that I can investigate the reason for their corruption. Lady Oreo looks visibly shaken. They have been enchanted by something that is undead. This does not bode well. How has evil become so brazen in this place? These are dark times indeed. I have heard that someone has hung bone cages along the street. I fear these are being used to trap my fairies and corrupt them. Please, you must free the captured fairies from those horrible bone cages before they become corrupted. Go quickly, my friend. Okay, oh, I just want to try to move my mouse. And okay. okay, so, and now I have new boots. Oh, they look pretty. Usually by now, I'm wearing like 50 different colors. I guess just... Everything's green for um, for life wizards. Oh my god, I can't think all of a sudden. This is horrible. I'm trying to record. Uh, I'm just gonna set up. Shut up and dance. I'm gonna make a whole bunch of stupid references, but mostly to like music and songs. That's what the geekling life is about. Uh, let's see if I can make it across the street without getting into it. I don't. Yeah! Oh, I was so close. Ah, oh, darn it. I love that, like, beginning battle noise. Just. Da -da -da. awkward for me to start recording. I'm gonna have to record a whole bunch of videos um, ahead of time because I um I'm gonna be going on a trip soon. I'm gonna be going on a college trip soon. Um, basically when I start going to college this is gonna be really awkward um, to record and Juggle homework and blah 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 blah. But I'm gonna make it work. I'm gonna try and post two videos a day, and if I have a vlog, then there will be three. Um, because I don't want to end any comp content that you guys see. Um, just because I have something to say, it's only like two minutes. Um, if I don't have time to do two videos. And I have a vlog. I I will just do one video and then a vlog. Why did I just turn around for literally no reason? We must not give up on my fairies. Make haste and free those that are trapped in the cages before I, they are I corrupted. Did. I thought I did four. I, I should have looked at the quest thing. It goes, like, the frame rate goes real crappy the second that I en exit and enter a place. So this wooden chest gives you, give you a whole bunch of... <clears throat> give you claims and weird cool things. Anyway. So. <clears throat> I'm sorry that, like, I keep stopping. I hear a tiny, joyful voice call your name. Corruption made them do bad things. Now there is hope again, and the fairies will be able to bring magic and cheer to the people of Wizard City once more. Thank you, Wizard. Um, I think it's nice. Oh, I forgot about that. Um, I think that I wish that could have happened from 
doing this, or any other thing that's like, oh, kill these people so that there's less of them to make things safer, was that to you, you don't see that many, as, as many, like, dark fairies or skeletal pirates anymore. Um, because you stopped them. They're still there so that you can get XP and blah, 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 blah. Why did I just turn around? Anyway. I feel like that would have been We really thank cool. you, wizard. The freed fairies have already told me of your heroism. Your deeds will be remembered here on Unicorn Way. And to show my appreciation, here is a healing spell. Remember to add it to your deck so it will aid you in your time of need. We must now find out who is behind the corruption. My fairies whispered of a monster whose bones made a clacking sound as it came for them. Saren Nightchant knows Unicorn Way very well. He will know if there is a sinister skeleton that now haunts my street. Okay, so I'm going to talk to Saren and then I'm going to battle the guy that he tells me to and then I'm going to end the video because this probably um, has been enough of uh, Wizard 101 for right now. Um, so, I don't, I'm not going to... I don't have a set uploading period yet. Um, like, I know that Jack has videos that go up in 12 at 3 and Mark at 8 and 12. But I, um, just because I'm starting out, I have no idea what my uploading schedule is going to be like. Um, and because I'm going to be going back to school and then college right after, um, I don't know. My schedule is going to be all flipped upside down and backwards and upside down. Um, I think I already said upside down, but I don't care. It's upside down this place. <laughs> But, um, hopefully things will get slowly into a normal pace. Um, right now what I'm doing is I'm recording, um, before I upload, which probably isn't the smartest thing to do, but it's how I'm doing it, because it's the easiest thing. Not really the easiest thing, but- Lady Oriel sent you to investigate the corruption of the fairies? I will gladly tell you what I know. It's just what I'm doing, <laughs> basically, in the long and short of it. And now I'm going to shut up so this guy can talk a whole bunch of that. Moonwalk! Jessica Story Breeze! When the Dark Fairies began to show up, I had suspected Lady Black Hope, but even she has never tried to enchant fairies before. Then the fairies gave report of a skeleton? Of course! Who else could it be but Rattlebones? I'm sorry I keep yawning. I'm so, I'm like so sorry about that. I really hope it's not getting picked up by that. Since I grew up here, I know a lot. I do not know yet what Dark Master has aided him, but Rattlebones has taken over my old friend Delia's tower. Find him in the tower and stop him from making any more cages. Please, do what you can to save the fairies. Also, like I was saying with like things like disappearing, you don't see like the bone cages anymore. You can still see them, and you can still look at them, but you can't interact with them. Why is there a fairy queen all the way down here? That's weird. I've never seen a fairy queen down this far. Um, it's very dangerous to be doing what I'm doing, because you can be sucked into battle at any second. I was really hoping I wasn't about to just eat my words, but I was just about to get sucked in. Um, I do it because walking around over and over and over and over and over again sucks. Once you get a mount, it goes pretty fast, but the only way that you can get a mount is beating up a bunch of people, and that gets boring very, very quickly. Um, oh, I just leveled up, so I don't need health anymore. Okay, so I'm gonna do this battle. You cannot stop us, wizard. The corruption of the fairies is just the beginning of Malister's plans. Soon, Wizard City will fall, and there isn't anything anyone can do about it. <laughs> um, I keep saying um, and then not saying anything because I have no idea what to say. I'm gonna take a couple of these out so that I can get other cards in here. Um. I really wish I had 
better cards for this, and I really don't, which is very surprising. At this point, usually I have this. shape and form life. Um, I have like no idea. I was really scared that that wasn't going to kill me. <laughs> Because I, I can't see his house, so I have literally no idea. These guys have 115. I was wrong. I don't know why I thought it was like 120 or 180. Oh, and of course, I fizzled. Oh, great, you fizzled too. So we're both stupid. Great. Oh, lord. I have like three or four picks. Oh, crap. The shield going around me, and I'm so glad that I killed that guy before he could use it on me. I love this music so much. Alright. Oh, um, I'm not gonna use it for right now. Metabon's master tool. Anyway, so that was most of Unicorn Way. Um, Congratulations! You've just received a furniture item. You can view it in your backpack by clicking on the furniture tab. This displays the different types of furniture items. You can put housing items in your dorm room in Ravenwood. To go to your dorm room, hit the house, click the place object, click sounds, if you're high enough level. You can buy a purse. Oi, mate! It looks like you just found something really unique. Well done. Boss monsters drop unique treasure. So you might want to fight them multiple times to see what you get. Yeah. Um, so basically, that's this video. Um, I really hope you guys are going to like this series. Um, I really hope that you don't think my commentary is that, s that horrible, because I know it's bad. But I really hope it isn't, like, intolerable. But, um... And I really hope you guys like the game. Because... Like I keep saying throughout this video, it's a really cool game, and I love it from my childhood. Um, and the music's, like, fantastic. <laughs> um, I will have this music in my head for days after playing this for a long time. So, um, I guess I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good day, and geek on. Bye-bye!